For many, prison is a space for repentance and reflection on both good and bad deeds. However, for some, it is simply another environment where their cruelty persists even behind bars. While tales of male prisoners inflicting terror within prison walls are well known, history attests that women can be equally formidable within the prison system. In the following video, we aim to shed light on those female inmates who have earned a notorious reputation, standing out as some of the most perilous individuals behind bars. Number 10, Aileen Warnos. Aileen Warnos, better known as the Freeway Terror, engaged in street prostitution along Florida's highways. If the client was affluent, she would shoot them dead and rob them. After being apprehended, she was sentenced to death for the murders of seven men. She spent over 10 years awaiting the death penalty. During this time, she exhibited aggressive behavior towards prison guards and those around her in the facility earning her a reputation as a high risk. Consequently, she was isolated and locked alone in her cell until her execution on October 9, 2002, administered by lethal injection. Number nine, Susan Atkins. Number nine on our list is a name synonymous with one of the most infamous cults in history, Susan Atkins, the Manson family's dark mistress. While her past is stained with the brutality of the Tate-LaBianca murders, her prison life was no less chaotic. Behind bars, Atkins maintained her allegiance to the twisted ideology of Charles Manson. She was the puppeteer of prison drama, manipulating inmates and creating an atmosphere of fear. She even orchestrated a stabbing, solidifying her reign as the dark queen within the prison walls. Number eight. Velma Barfield. Now let's talk about a woman who defied the stereotype of a sweet, innocent granny, Velma Barfield, the death row granny. Convicted of poisoning numerous family members, Barfield's deadly tendencies didn't end with her conviction. Barfield continued her macabre legacy by allegedly becoming the mastermind behind a series of sinister plots from brewing up poisonous concoctions to causing chows in the mess hall, Deathrow Granny's actions were as diddly as they were cunning. Number seven, Carla Homolka. Moving on to number seven, we enter the disturbing realm of Carla Homolka, one half of the infamous Ken and Barbie killers, responsible for the heinous crimes alongside her husband, Paul Bernardo. Her actions behind bars were equally shocking. Homolka, known for her manipulative charm, left a trail of broken relationships and shattered alliances within the prison. The whispers of her involvement in various altercations and power struggles paint a chilling picture of the woman who once played a deadly game of make-believe. Number six, Myra Hindley. Myra Hindley became infamous as one half of the Moore's Murderers duo alongside Ian Brady. Their gruesome crimes in the 1960s shocked the world. Hindley actively participated in the abduction, sexual assault, and murder of five children. Hindley's seemingly ordinary facade concealed a sinister nature, and her role in the sadistic acts shattered societal perceptions. Convicted in 1966, she showed a chilling lack of remorse. Behind those cold, calculating eyes, Hindley was rumored to have orchestrated a violent confrontation with a prison guard. Number five, Juana Barraza. A wrestling woman by day, a serial killer by night, meet La Mataviejitas, the old lady killer. Operating from the late 1990s to 2006, Barraza targeted elderly women, gaining their trust before brutally murdering them. Her chilling moniker captured the nation's attention. Arrested in 2006, Barraza's trial unveiled a troubled past marked by abuse and neglect. The motive behind her crimes remained a subject of speculation. Despite her heinous acts, Barraza showed little remorse during proceedings. In 2008, she was convicted of multiple murders and sentenced to 759 years in prison. 
Whispers of Barraza's involvement in a deadly feud with a fellow inmate lingered through the prison corridors. The matron of death, it seemed, continued her ominous dance even within the confines of concrete and steel. Number four, Rosemary West. Rosemary West gained infamy as one half of the infamous duo, along with her husband, Fred West, involved in a series of heinous crimes in the UK. Operating in the 1970s, the Wests were responsible for rape, torture, and murder, including their own family members. Rosemary actively participated in the crimes, contributing to the horrific acts that shocked the nation. Their residence at 25 Cromwell Street became a house of horrors. The discovery of multiple victims buried on the property led to their arrests in 1994. In 1995, Rosemary West was convicted of 10 murders, including that of her own daughter. She received a life sentence, and her willingness to partake in such atrocities demonstrated the depths of human depravity. She instilled an unparalleled sense of fear within the prison walls, owing to her ruthless demeanor. In many instances, the prison staff found it imperative to isolate her from the general inmate population due to her extreme cruelty. Number three, Nanny Doss. Coming in at number three is Nanny Doss, AKA the Giggling Granny. From the 1920s to the 1950s, she committed a series of poisonings that claimed the lives of multiple family members, including husbands, children, and her own mother. Doss's outwardly cheerful demeanor masked a cold and calculating killer. Her method of choice was arsenic, earning her the nickname, the Giggling Granny, due to her seemingly lighthearted response to the deaths during police interrogations. Arrested in 1954, Doss confessed to her crimes, revealing a sinister pattern of marrying and then murdering for financial gain and insurance money. In 1955, she was sentenced to life in prison and died behind bars in 1965. In 10 years of her behind the bars, she harmed multiple guards, and in one case, she almost killed an inmate. Number two, Judy Buenoano. Climbing up our list, we meet Judy Buenoano, the Black Widow. Known for poisoning her loved ones, Buenoano's presence within the prison was marked by a deadly aura. From the late 70s to the early 80s, Buenoano employed various methods, including poison and explosives, to eliminate husbands and family members for financial gain and life insurance payouts. Her ability to manipulate and exploit trust showcased a dangerous combination of intelligence and ruthlessness. Buenoano's actions earned her a reputation as one of the most infamous female killers. Frustrated by perceived betrayals, she orchestrated a dramatic escape attempt that resulted in injuries to both guards and inmates. In 1985, she was convicted of murder and received a death sentence, later becoming the first woman executed in Florida since 1848. Number one, Tamara Samsonova. This Russian grandmother is undeniably frightening. Tamara Samsonova, also known as Granny Ripper. This lady shocked all Russians with the macabre crimes she committed. Initial suspicions arose when residents in her building went missing after being invited for coffee. Unfortunately, the coffee was poisoned and their bodies were later dismembered. Samsonova's gruesome acts claimed at least 11 victims. Upon her arrest, she confessed to all the crimes, including practicing cannibalism. Following her imprisonment, the atmosphere in the prison underwent a drastic change. A pervasive sense of fear and insecurity permeated the facility as inmates learned about her crimes. No one dared to share a cell with her. While there's no evidence indicating that she continued her cruel acts within the prison, but the prevailing fear solidifies her reputation as the most terrifying prisoner. These women are among the most frightening individuals that the prison system has encountered. Their cruelty and capacity to instill fear persist throughout their sentences behind bars. Share your thoughts about these women in the comments below.